This is Karis Alexander with Deep Truth Media. Are you noticing the intensification as the power control force try to perpetrate their dream upon the masses? And for those of us who are what deconstructing consciousness, that we are dismantling the program, her, the womb matrix, that we are in the process of dissolution of consciousness, that is dissolving of consciousness. And so I've come to the definitive understanding that we must learn to operate outside the reality frame of the rule set of our objective world that has been defined by the universal architects of the system of consciousness. And so what we're going to be talking a lot about today is how we must let go of the cultural beliefs about the nature of our physical material reality. And I know that this is extremely difficult to do, to let go of, because we believe that these bodies and the personality are real. The power control force, those that presume to run this world, have us locked in the belief system that our physical material reality is the ultimate reality. And yet, the only ultimate reality is that you are the only thing that exists and that you are nothing. And in your totality of nothing, in your nothingness, in your state of nothingness, that you supersede the physical material reality that you have been born into, which is defined by what? Your objective world. Your objective world defines the rule set. Who defined the objective world? The universal architects that devise the consciousness system upon which your physical material reality has been constructed through what? A computer program. Yes, your reality, your physical material reality is based on a computer program. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about this. The title of this sharing is Deconstructing Consciousness, the new movie Time Lapse, Connection to B.B. King Death. King of Consciousness is a machine, which equals a video game. The reality of nothing? So what is the reality of nothing? Remember, as we deconstruct consciousness, I've come to the resolution that we must dissolve all negativity. And yet we live in a sea of negativity. 90% of what we experience in the physical dimension is negativity. And yet, negativity has nothing to do with your essence as nothing. That you supersede all negativity. So I'm not suggesting, as they do in the New Age movement, that we ignore all the negativity. No, we bear witness to the negativity. We cipher the negativity. We dissolve any attachment to the negativity. We don't ignore the negativity because just simply by ignoring it or not looking at the negativity allows it to perpetuate itself through ego consciousness. That is how the system has been able to perpetuate itself for millennia. That is how consciousness has been able to have a hold and grip on you, on your essence is nothing. Through negativity, through wars, through conflict, through contrast, which has nothing to do with your essence as nothing. And so as you dissolve, you dissolve consciousness and you come more and more into the knowing and truth of who you are, you eradicate all negativity. It's an alchemical process that you must embrace with the totality of all of who you are. That is why you're here, because you want to learn more about who and what you are through Karis, the personality Karis, through the biological vehicle Karis that is expressing. Her essence is nothing, that is experiencing the physical dimension, that my essence is nothing, is experienced the physical dimension through the biological vehicle, through the personality Karis, beyond ego consciousness, beyond the negative data stream that has been imposed upon me since birth or inception. I am eradicating all negativity so that I can express and experience the objective world that I am creating within my own reality construct. So I want to share a comment with you from a friend on Facebook. Hello Karis, I enjoy and respect your work and I would like to ask if you see any connection between the Amtrak derailment and the movie massacre committed 30 years ago almost to the day, both occurring in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Philadelphia is a huge Masonic city. I was born and raised here. This all felt like a sacrifice to me. Thank you for your insights. Blessings to you. Here is my response. Yes, and so you are right on point. The connections you have made are excellent. Remember, nothing 
new under the sun, just an opportunity to see through the deception. Now what to do with the truth you are now learning and absorb, uh, absorbing at a higher level is not to, to get fearful of the connections you are making, but know that in your process of becoming more clear of the deception around you, that you are in the process of dissolving consciousness, that is the tricking and deceiving of someone through knowledge. You are coming into your true power, nothing to fear as your essence is ready to see truth, bear witness and experience the reality that is being perpetrated on you has nothing to do with you. So don't fall prey to the lie and the fear that consumes so many. The key is to stay detached. I'm glad that what I share is helpful and soon enough Everyone who wants to see and experience truth will just, will, just as I am, it is truly just a matter of time in this time space. Continue a matrix. Blessings to you and keep piercing the veil. Yes, so piercing the veil, seeing the connections of the deception that's being perpetrated on you allows you to what? Dissolve the narratives and scripts that are being perpetrated on the masses. It's one part of the dissolution of consciousness that you are allowing yourself, the true essence of who you are, to materialize in your reality. But it is one part of the process. It's important not to get stuck there. So when we decompose consciousness, we are at the precipice of a massive split of consciousness. And so what you're probably going to be feeling is feelings of demonic possession. The ego is under possession. That is what I'm noticing and experiencing and witnessing in my world. The ego is a demonic possession. Suffering and pain will continue to occur in the matrix as long as one continues to identify with ego consciousness and this demonic energy which has been perpetrated on your essence by the power control force who are what? Demonic entities. They create your ego consciousness through the objective world or the rule set. That is the rule set of the objective world which is designed by the programmers of consciousness, the universal architects that created this consciousness, this concept of consciousness. They use the individuated ego consciousness that is the personality that is you, that is experiencing your physical vehicle. Your physical vehicle is a machine. They use the personality that is you and your physical vehicle which is another machine in order to keep the virtual reality matrix that they've constructed alive, well, and thriving through what? Negativity. So once you identify with the ego consciousness not being your essence, but is actually driving your essence and obscuring your essence from you, until that happens, until you dissolve or experience the dissolution of ego consciousness, you will continue to be consumed by the system of consciousness, your physical material reality that you think is all real based on a belief that's been perpetrated on you. But none of this is real. So most, instead of dissolving the pain and suffering of consciousness, will grapple with or not be able to experience the knowledge that they do not exist within this physical dimension. And so they will forever be enslaved within the system of consciousness without true knowledge of who and what they are. Therefore, if you continue to remain seduced within the system of consciousness, consumed by the pain and suffering of this physical material reality, your essence will continue to elude you at every turn. And that you, in fact, have no ground to stand on in this matrix that attempts to elude your essence as nothing at every turn. There are, has never been an opportunity as there is now to what? Dissolve these islands of psychic reality and expand away from this system of consciousness into your own metamorphosis and reality of your own choosing and making. So let's look at this movie, The Time Lapse. Time Lapse is a sci-fi thriller and the feature film directorial debut of Bradley King, which opened in theaters May 15th. One day after B.B. King, the legendary blues singer, dies, the connection they are both have the same last name, and the movie release is one day after B.B. King's death. 
Just an opportunity to make a connection there. So the plot of the story is Finn, the character, one of the main characters, is a painter with a creative block who lives together with his girlfriend, Callie, and his best friend, Jasper, in an apartment complex where Finn works as a manager. There is an elderly tenant, Mr. B, across the way that has not paid his rent in two months. Callie goes to check on him and discovers a strange machine in his apartment that takes Polaroid p photos of their living room's picture window. That is the living room picture window of Finn, Callie, and Jasper. She discovers this strange machine in his apartment, and apparently this machine that picks pictures of their living room does so apparently 24 hours into the future, always at 8 p.m. And although Mr. B's photo display includes daytime photos, the friends check Mr. B's storage unit and find his inexplicably charred corpse. He has apparently been dead for a week. The characters in the movie The Time Lapse learn to use photos from the machine to send messages in order to manipulate future events. That being said, the characters in the movie the Time Lapse come to the realization that they have to make sure the events in the photos, whatever they may be, have to occur or their timeline will stop and they will cease, therefore, to exist. Very interesting. Now, this movie Time Lapse is simply mirroring to you subliminally an example of what the power control force must do in order to create your reality. They must continuously manufacture events through their narratives and scripts. Otherwise, the illusory reality that we call life will cease to exist in their timeline. So this movie Time Lapse is just an example of how the current fake reality that you experience external to your essence, to your illusory f physical world, through your individual machine called the ego consciousness, which consists of all your inner content, you know, your belief, memories, and all the stories you tell about yourself and others that you believe to be true. These stories, these memories, these beliefs really work on your essence as nothing to believe that this system, this physical material reality is real and that your essence is nothing, is, is, is not even considered in the context of your objective world in order to what? Deceive your essence. This is all designed to deceive your essence. That you as nothing is the ultimate or only reality and that your physical material reality has no truth, no validity. And yet the power control force must continuously get you to believe that your physical material reality is the real deal. Please know that the secrets revealed subliminally in this movie time lapse as to how your illusory reality is created Clues are abound if you have eyes to see through the deception of your illusory reality as you continue to pierce the veil. So watch the trailer of this movie. Look at this machine that they're showing you in the poster. It's no different than the computer program that I've just been talking about. This consciousness system, how it's a computer program. You see, the reality about consciousness is that the reality you experience within the system of consciousness can never be anything more than what you experience. And since your experience will always be limited, you're stuck with only a superficial model of reality that best describes the potential facts of your personal experience. It is important to keep in mind that your ego consciousness perpetuates your false reality construct through the inherent uncertainty you feel in physical form by raising your entropy or level of fear, pain, and suffering. And these three culprits are the glue that keeps your perception of reality intact so you believe that what you are experiencing is real when in reality it is just a video game. A virtual reality matrix. You see, it is your belief in the concept of fear that creates distraction or barrier from knowing the true reality of who and what you are as nothing. Therefore, in order to know who and what you are, you must learn to accept uncertainty and live with it gracefully. You must surrender to what you think is real as it is simply a holographic matrix in your mind or consciousness, just like the machine in the movie Time Lap, which operates in the construct of time and space. Now I know this sounds easy at the intellectual level, but at the being level, this is this uncertainty is the root cause of frustration that is generated by you continually running into limitations that you cannot see and do not understand. However, with sufficient experience and due diligence, you will be able to connect more and more of the dots at both the intellectual and the being level through your experiences. Therefore, discovering and reducing your
your limitations, but not entirely in eliminating them as long as you are your, as your essence is no thing is differentiated from the whole of consciousness. You actually exist in your totality outside this physical universe. This is what you must come to know the truth of. When you are one with the knowing and truth of who and what you are as nothing, in stillness, your limitations disappear along with your need to know or be anything more than you already are as you are the only reality at the very core of your essence as no thing. You supersede your physical material reality. With enough experimentation, experience and due diligence, maybe one day your model of consciousness will perhaps evolve and shift your perception so that you will be able to explain all the considerable data that you have managed to collect over your lifetime. And just maybe at that point, you may be able to see and experience the limitation of who you think you are in the physical form that you are not aware of, thus making you feel less frustrated by your personal experience, allowing you to better understand and give you the confidence that is necessary to accept uncertainty of life and all its complexity gracefully without attachment, free of any disillusionment. So it's really important to understand that your physical material reality is a virtual reality within the system of consciousness. It's an illusion of reality that mirrors your essence as no thing, which is the ultimate or only reality. So this illusion of reality requires only the bare minimum of data to keep the illusion progressing consistently. And that is only because so many believe that their physical material reality is real because the power control forces perpetrated the dream that it is real on them. And so because the illusion of this reality is so elusive for most of humanity in the minds of the participants, according to the rule set, of the objective world, as soon as you slip into the belief that your physical material reality is a fundamental reality, as is our habit of thinking, is where we become enslaved in the matrix, believing all of this is the real deal. And so while well, you may be saying to yourself, well, Karis, I still believe in the objective world. What about those people in Nepal that died? What about the people who are experiencing massive atrocities all around the world. Yes, we must not deny that they are experiencing what they perceive to be real. We cannot deny them their experience. But what I am sharing with you is that when you dissolve consciousness and you come to the resolution and the dissolution of consciousness and come to know the truth of who you are, you come to the better understanding and knowing in truth through your own experience that physical material reality is it's all fakery, it's all trickery. There's nothing real. It doesn't exist. And so you do not give it value or credence. And so I do not deny those who still believe in their physical material reality. I do not deny them their right to believe in the physical material reality that they are experiencing, but I know it's only because they do not know who and what they are. So I do not deny them their right to have their experience and believe that all of this is real. But I will not ha allow the power control force to perpetrate their physical material reality on me. Karis, the biological vehicle that is experiencing the physical dimension through my essence is nothing. I will no longer allow the power control force to perpetrate belief system upon my essence to believe that this physical material reality is real and will no longer allow them to perpetrate their dream upon my essence because I know that the only reality is that I am the only reality. And so the objective world that I'm creating in which my subjective and personal experience acts upon does not include any negativity, only joy and well-being, peace, opulence, abundance, we must transcend all negativity because that is the glue that keeps our objective world, the physical material reality, intact. Therefore, all negativity must be eradicated. You may be saying to yourself, well, Karis, that's a huge undertaking. No, I, it's becoming much more easier. Remember how I said that ego consciousness is going to be obliterated in the year 2020? This is what we're talking about. Dissolving of ego consciousness, the demonic force that consumes most of humanity, is the dissolution of consciousness. So we have to let go, let the belief that the physical material reality has some sort of fundamental existence. All things human are fading away. Because as long as the power control force have you believing that your physical material reality is real, is what keeps you enslaved in the matrix of time, forever forgetting that your essence is the only non-physical material reality, and that consciousness has a defining rule set. Consciousness is a finite system. And so when we talk about ego consciousness obliterating in 2020, 
and we look at that graph that I show you that Nick Ferenza put together, this is the dissolution of consciousness. This is the dissolving of this finite system. So this consciousness system is a portion of a larger consciousness system. It's a big computer with a virtual reality rendering engine like the machine in time-lapse, which is programmed to implement a specific rule set within the context of our local environment, the world universe. The universe game environment evolves from initial conditions, interacting with the constraints of the rule set of our objective world to represent the entire natural physical world that defines the virtual reality that we operate within. Now besides the natural world, there is a larger number of sentient players that inhabit the world to experience an interaction with the natural physical world, our objective reality, as well as with other players. This is how consciousness system, this virtual reality matrix operates with sentient beings, sentient players that inhabit the world through our personalities and biological vehicles. We have interactions with one another. Physics and science tries to discover the rule set of consciousness, eluding you every step of the way. They say they are trying to find the rule set of consciousness, but they're never actually trying to find the rule set. They know what the rule set is. They're trying to deceive you every step of the way. And it doesn't make our virtuality less virtual. Apparently, it's supposed to make our virtuality better understood when we include physics and science and the discovery of and the understanding through the understanding of consciousness. But really, physics and science is really designed to, again, to continue to obscure you to cause massive doubt and confusion about consciousness. So if we consider that there is unlimited possibilities and probabilities within the context of this consciousness system, this womb matrix, and that as we deconstruct consciousness here, that we are considering that in the deconstruction of consciousness, we are dismantling a probability within the unlimited probabilities and possibilities within this system of consciousness. So we have to understand that the universal architect, the designer of this consciousness system, knows each and every sentient player and knows what each and every sentient player will potentially do within the system of consciousness. And the other probabilities that exist, what in terms of what sentient beings may not do, also exist within this system of consciousness. So just know that the probability in which we are embarking on, that is the deconstruction of consciousness, is a probability that exists within the system of consciousness. And that the universal architects know that it is a probability or possibility that can be construed or deconstructed within consciousness. And so they will try to what? Deceive us at every turn so that we do not come to know that our physical material reality is not real and that the ultimate reality is our essence is no thing is the only reality. So it's really important to understand that every single possibility or probability exists within this system of consciousness. So you are to transcend the system of consciousness, your ego consciousness, your individuated ego consciousness. Dissolve consciousness altogether and come to know the truth of who you are and then create your objective world with your own rule set and live your subjective and personal reality under your, your own defined concept of what is true for you. That is your right. That is the ultimate right of your essence is no thing to experience the totality of who and what it is in physical form and supersede this objective world, dissolving the objective world so that it no longer has influence on your subjective reality and personal experience. So in closing, one key idea is that consciousness is a real finite system. And real finite systems require consideration and computational harmony and demand efficiency of finite resource utilization. Nothing needs to be rendered within the physical material reality unless some sentient entity requires it and then only as much as required. And so this is how the power control force continue to perpetrate their dream on the mass by rendering their narratives and scripts within our physical world through the media in order to what? Continuously perpetrate their dream. And so as we dissolve consciousness, as we come to know the truth of who we are, we no longer allow ourselves to be manipulated by the dreams and narratives of those who are perpetrating their dreams and narratives on us. So it truly is a wonderful time to become free of the consciousness program at play. 
That is the quality and state of tricking and deceiving of someone through knowledge. That is when you take the word consciousness and you break it into its individuated components and look up the words and then put them back together again, you get the quality and state of tricking and deceiving of someone through knowledge. I'll be explaining more of these concepts at length in future videos. I hope you understand what it is that I'm sharing here. It's very high level sharing. And I know that I may lose some of you, but understanding that our physical material reality is not real will certainly set you free. I thank you so much for tuning in. It truly is a glorious time to be here.